what is up guys welcome back to my channel doing something a little bit different today doing an outdoor video weather is beautiful here in southwest florida so i decided to step out of the house and do something different for you guys today we'll be reviewing this knife that i'm very excited about it's from kershaw's value line let's get into the review <laughs> guys it's got a really really good weight for its size i mean this knife is not tiny at all three and a half inch blade 8.1 inch overall length in my big hands it fits perfect this knife i really liked a lot because it's got that spear point double edge kind of look to it this one is just one that really caught my attention i really like everything about this knife this is a 2019 model it's just a beautiful knife it's a double material front scale which includes stainless steel with a glass filled nylon now it has t4 torque to secure these and it's got the standard t6 torque to secure the actual main bearing. The rest of the knife is supported by these little spacers here, secured by T4 Torx, and then you have the ambidextrous belt clip here, which can be installed on the other side. Now, I like how Kershaw, by default, is starting to make most of their knives tip up carry. I really, really, really dig that. The back scale has the, uh, what I like to call the bearing cartridge area, enclosed in a glass-filled nylon box kind of here, and then it has the rest of the frame lock scale. So it has only a flipper right here, it doesn't have any kind of thumb stud or thumb mechanism or a hole to deploy it. So it's strictly a flipper design. It's got a nice little lanyard hole right here. It's completely flow through. Now this is on the larger end of daily carry, something that I would carry because I just like big knives, big folding knives. I have no problem with them at all. I think I mentioned in my other video that I was carrying the Spider Go Resilience for a while. Speed safe as Kershaw normally is. The blade is a very, very interesting design. It is spear pointed, although it's not double edge. It's got the Kershaw logo here and then with an angular grind right here very nicely it's got the dorsal edge meets the sharp edge there you got your model number with the kershaw patent and then you got the hcr 13 mov which i'm happy they went with that steel because most of their china steel knives don't have that it's like the 420 of chinese steels it's very nice you can sharpen it very easily it retains a really good edge so i don't think you'll have any problems with that it does have the kershaw originals logo right here it looks like a nice little gauge i really really like that it was a very smooth deployment i like the fact that the flipper design also extends the protection for your index finger when you're holding the knife. Now the jimping on this knife is extremely functional. It's something I haven't seen on any other knife. It's actually very, very sharply cut into the dorsal side. It offers really good traction on your finger. There's no modification necessary for this grind alignment at all. $34.95 is what I paid at the Walmart and I think that's on the lower end. I've seen anywhere from $35.95 all the way up to $45 online. But overall, I think this is definitely a pickup. This is a buy. If you like big knives and you have no problem carrying big knives, this one is at $4 ounces i would say very very happy with this one it's a beautiful knife stone wash finish and that right there is what i like most about these blades i'm a guy that uses my knives and i'm always on them boxes whatever sometimes even prying but what matters is that this finish here prevents scratches from being more visible and it's also on the handle and i really appreciate that i like a knife that's built for just industrial use and that's what kershaw pushes on the oblivion i hope they continue to make this knife because i really love it and it's going to be an awesome addition to my collection i recommend you go pick this one up i know i've been out for a few weeks just handling some personal things but i appreciate you guys always inviting your friends and family to come on the channel the contest for reaching 500 subs is still up and going the person who is the 500 subscriber will win that kershaw zing that i mentioned a couple videos back thank you for visiting guys i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye